There we are, folks. Mushy peas made. Hi, guys. How you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're talking Marafat peas. We're talking real mushy peas. English style mushy peas. Now this is a typical brand of Marafat pea used in the UK and I was quite fortunate to get a couple of packs flown out. So straightforward guys, there's a fantastic clear instructions on the back of here but basically what we do, we tip the peas into a container, tip on boiling water and add the sodium bicarbonate or baking soda tablets to the water leave it to stand for 12 hours that's it let's do it and there you can see that's our bicarbonate of soda sodium bicarbonate tablets now I'm going to do two packs of these guys and the simple reason being the two packs of these I can actually freeze some of these peas get the peas frozen and then uh, I can eat any time. So what we'll do, we'll get our sodium bicarbonate tablets in there right from the start. Now you know to be quite fair that these two in here will be more than enough. But we've got two packs so we'll use the tablets. And then you ha have to add boiling water. So let's get the boiling water in there. Now you can just leave that like that and let it do its job. But what I'm going to do is just give it a little stir in. So we get those sodium bicarbonate tablets mixed in there with our peas. And all we're going to do, we're just going to leave this for 12 hours. And all the peas are going to swell up. And then we'll carry on with the next stage. It is a very, it's fairly simple to make mushy peas. It's just time consuming because they're dried peas and they need to rehydrate. And that's it really. This is how to make real British mushy peas. The same as you would find in a chip shop. Okay, so there's our peas. 12 hours later. That's what our peas look like. You know, they have swelled up completely, doubled in size from what they were when they went in. They've probably tripled the size actually. And what we've got to do now, we've got to drain these peas. So let's drain the peas. Ho 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 ho! Just put them back on there to drain. Right, with our peas, what we need to do, we need to put them in a pan. Okay, what we need to do, we need to put some water in there. Now, on the packet, it always says boiling water, you know. I think it just makes it a little bit quicker, that's all. So let's put a flame on. I think that's all it's for. It doesn't seem to do any big difference. And what we need to do, we need to put enough water in to come probably about three quarters of an inch above the peas. Now, you can add more if it evaporates, you know. But we need to crack on, boil it up. Now, some people don't add sugar, I do. Now, we've got 500 grams of peas in there. I'm going to add a normal tablespoon of sugar white sugar and about one level teaspoon of salt now i'm going to keep some water on standby because when these absorb the water and they start to turn into mush we might need to add a little bit more so give that a stir and we just need to bring this to the boil We're going to bring it to the boil and then we'll turn it down to a simmer and cook to how we like our mushy peas. Now when you have real British mushy peas, there's nothing better than having a bit of a runny sauce with your peas. Delicious guys, 
Absolutely delicious. Now, when you're cooking mushy peas, guys, you always get a scum on top of the peas. Always. Now, it's either from the bicarbonate of soda or what's on the pea shell. It's always a scum. And all you've got to do, when it froths up with the scum, is scoop it off. So, like I say, we always get this scum. Always. And all you've got to do is skim it off now you might get some pea shells as well you know they shell themselves as they're going along but we do really don't want all that gunge in there oh ho, ho. as we can see here guys look it's starting to thicken up the water's evaporating off and the peas are starting to get mushy and we're getting that lovely green pea sauce just keep cooking it down till you get to the desired consistency that you like. Just don't forget to keep giving it a stir. We don't want to burn it on. Okay, this is where you take it down to how thick you guys want it, you know? I like that pea sauce. So that's about right for me. So I'm going to turn off the heat. Just look at those. That is mushy peas made. So that's it guys. That's how you make mushy peas. Dead easy. There we are folks, mushy peas made. That's it, real mushy peas made. Now if you eat with mint sauce, serve them up with fish and chips, peas, pies, anything. You know, that is how to make real English mushy peas. They are absolutely <laughs> fantastic. If you like what we're doing, don't forget like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video. Mm.